All right, so goal again here is to use Kramer's rule and a calculator to help us solve. So being consistent with what we've done in the past, we always start with Kramer's rule by establishing what our denominator matrix is going to be. So let's set that up. Denominator matrix is going to be a 3 by 3 here because we're solving for three variables. It consists of all your coefficients on your x, y, and z terms. So as I consider my x, y, and z terms here, I'll notice that there's a few of those terms missing, right? So in the place of those terms, we'll have to put zeros. For instance, with the x's, um, starting my first column for this determinant, coefficient here obviously is 3. I've got x missing from this one, so we'll say 0. And then I've got 4 as my coefficient on the last one. So first column over here would be 3, 0, 4. For the y's, coefficients on the uh, first equation, we've got 4. Second equation, we've got 2. But we're missing the y term from this last one, so that's going to be 0 on the last one. And then with the z's, we don't have a z term in the first equation, right? So that's going to be 0. But we do have z terms in the second and third equation. We've got a positive 3 in the second and a negative 5 in the third. <coughs> So that sets up the denominator portion. Again, all these values come from the coefficients on the x's, on the y's, on the z's. So to set up when we're going to solve for x, when we're going to solve for y, when we're going to solve for z, we've got unique matrices we've got to use for numerators on each of those, right? So let me use a little notation here. Let me let x sub n represent the numerator matrix for when I'm going to solve for x. And same kind of thing, we'll do y sub n. That'll be the numerator matrix for y. And then we'll use z sub n, the numerator matrix for z. Okay, so to set up for x, we're going to go back, use the denominator matrix as a guide. We're going to take the x column out, replace it with the constant values of 19, 8, and 7. Then the other two columns stay the same. For y, we're going to take this y column out, replace that with 19, 8, and 7. Other two columns stay the same. And for z, well, we're going to take the uh, z column out, replace that with 19, 8, and 7. And then our other two columns will stay the same. So again, the understanding is we evaluate this denominator matrix. We evaluate these four matrices down here. As we get these values back down here, like for the numerator matrix on x, whatever value I get here, I'm going to divide by this value here. That's going to give me the x coordinate in that ordered pair, or I'm sorry, that ordered triple, rather, that I'm ultimately looking for. So how are we going to do this on the calculator? Well, if we go to the calculator, let's start with setting up the denominator matrix. There's an option on your calculator that actually says matrix. Turn this on here. You'll see that matrix is located right over here down the left-hand side. If you hit second and that X to the negative one key. You got some menu options here. And what you want to do is you want to go through and you want to edit a matrix so that you can set this up. So you got to scroll over to the far right, go to edit. And since I'm finding the denominator matrix and since I'm trying to keep this all straight, I'm actually going to use D here for my denominator matrix. So 
I go down to item number four, I hit enter. Now, depending on who may have used this before you, you know, this might look a little different, but you're trying to set up a three by three matrix here. So I'm gonna enter three, and then I'm gonna enter three again. And you'll notice how the matrix sets up this set of three rows and three columns. So now what we do is we enter in our rows just as they appear over here in the denominator matrix. So top row, you've got three, so I hit three, enter. You got four, hit four, enter. You got zero, zero, enter. Second row, you've got zero, two, and three. So zero, enter, two, enter, three, enter. And then you got four, zero, and negative five. double check to make sure you got all the values in the right places. As long as all the values are in the right place. Now what you can do is you can go back to your main calculating screen. So hit second and hit mode here so you can quit. I'm going to clear out this screen. I'm going to get ready to evaluate what this matrix is. So once you're back on the calculating screen, you go back to the matrix menu. So second x to the negative 1. What you want to do is you want to determine the value for the matrix. So go to the right to where it says math at the top. First item on there is the determinant idea. So hit enter. What we want to determine is that matrix we set up. So now I got to go back to the matrix menu. We do a lot of back and forth here. Now we don't need to edit anything. We just need to call up that matrix that we set up. So you stay where it says names here. Go down to item number four, which is set up for you already. Hit enter. If we hit enter one more time now, it will figure out the value of the matrix. It says the value of the matrix is 18. So now we can use 18 as our denominator value all the way through as we continue here with Kramer's rule to figure out the order triple. Okay? All right. Um, now let's uh, set up the matrix that's going to represent the numerator portion for our x coordinate. Let's go back into the matrix menu here. We want to edit a new matrix, so we go all the way to the far right where it says edit. And not that we have to leave the denominator one in there, I'm just going to. Um, I'm going to use matrix A here as my numerator for the x-coordinate. So I'm going to hit enter. I'm setting up a 3 by 3. So 3, enter, 3, enter. We see the number of rows and columns change. We've got the matrix set up for that numerator portion of the x-coordinate. So we're going to go ahead and enter those values as we see them. Across the top row, we see 19, 4, and 0. So I enter those in. Second row, I see 8, 2, and 3. So enter those in. And the last row, we've got zero, or 7, <laughs> 0, and negative 5. So double check to make sure everything looks right. And now let's determine the value here for our x sub n as we got it defined. To do that, we've got to quit first. So second mode takes us back to that main calculating screen. Now we go back to the matrix menus. First thing we want to do Go to where it says math here, and then just hit enter. Should have that prompt now on the home screen. Go back to the matrix menu. We have now already set up the matrix we need, so using this list as it is under names, we're going to hit enter to call up matrix A that we just set up. Hit enter again and we find that we get 54 back. 
So x sub n, this matrix here, x sub n equals 54. Now, if that equals 54, and we're trying to find this ordered triple, we're going to take this 54, we're going to divide by 18. 54 divided by 18 is 3. So the x coordinate in our ordered triple is going to be 3. Okay, now let's set up for y. Move this out of the way so I can see the matrix for the numerator portion of the y coordinate. If I go back now to the matrix menu, got to edit a new matrix. And just to distinguish between the ones I've already set up, let's use B this time. So scroll down to B, hit enter. We want a three by three. Top row for Y sub N is three, 19, and zero. Second row is 0, 8, and 3. Third row, 4, 7, and negative 5. Double check it. Remember to quit second mode. Back to the home screen. Now we go to the matrix menu. Go to math. Hit enter. Back to the matrix menu one more time. Under names, call up matrix B. Hit enter. And Y sub N gives us 45. So squeeze this in here. All right, so we're taking 45 here, and we're dividing by 18, right? That's not going to go in evenly, is it? What's the fraction? You know? I'm going to use the calculator for that real quick. 45 divide 18. If you go to math, hit enter, enter again. Should be 5 halves. There you go. So we got five halves back is the y coordinate. The last one, z. One more time through this process. For z, if I go to the matrix menu, go over to edit. Let's use c this time just to distinguish. We want to do a three by three. Top row, three, four, 19. Second row, 0, 2, 8. Last row, 4, 0, 7. Double check. Looks good. Quit. Back on the home screen now. So back into the matrix menu. We want to go to math to determine it. And we want to go back to the matrix menu and call up, this would be matrix C now. Enter that in, we get 18 back for Z sub N. We're taking 18, we're dividing by 18, and the final value here, making up our Z coordinate, is going to be 1. So our ordered triple is 3, 5 halves, and 1.